Hi, grade one. The lesson today is on subtraction counting up. It's kind of like counting back, except this time we're going to count up to find the difference. So when the numbers are really close together, this is a good way or a good strategy to use. If you notice seven and five, if you look at them on a number line, seven and five are close together. So this is a good strategy for this. 12 minus 10, 12 and 10 are close together on the number line. 15 and 13, they are close together on the number line. 18, which would be off of here, and 15, that would be close on a number line as well. So those are the kind of problems we're gonna look at today. I wanna show you this concept with some blocks as well so that you know what I mean by the difference, okay? We're gonna look at the first one, four minus two, and my lights just went off in my classroom, but we can still do this. So if I have four and I have two, four minus two, sometimes we could say here's four and I'll just take away two, okay? But here's another way to look at it. Here's four and here's two. Now this is the same but this is different. The difference between four and two is two because this is the same, but this is different, okay? So if you have two numbers, when you're subtracting, sometimes you're looking for the difference. I'll show that to you again in six minus three. So two, four, six, and here's three. If we look at the two numbers, and I want to find the difference between them. We can say, well, this part is the same. This part is different. So the difference between six and three is three, okay? Subtraction can be known as difference. I'll try one more here, 10 minus seven. So let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and here's seven. Sometimes when we're subtracting, we say, what's the difference? Well, here's seven and here's 10. Can you tell me what the difference is? This part is the same. This part is the difference. It's three. Okay, let's look at the difference of these two numbers on the number line. The first one is four minus two. We have four and we have two. Here's where they are on the number line. We wanna know the difference. And sometimes instead of counting back, it's a little easier to count forward. So we count up. We take the small number and we just count up to find the difference. Two, three, four. The difference is two. If we look here at the six and the three, we wanna find the difference between these two numbers. So instead of counting back, I can count up. I start at the three and I go four, five, six. The difference was three jumps, okay? Over here with 10 and seven, I wanna find the difference between these two numbers. I could count backward, but counting up is a little easier. So I'll start at the seven and I'll go eight, nine, 10. I made three jumps, the difference is three. One more, I have 15 and 11. I wanna find the difference between these two numbers. I could count back or I could count up. Let's give it a try. Start at the 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The difference was four jumps. Okay, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense, finding the difference and counting up instead of counting back. The pages you have today look like this. The first one is called count up, and it wants you to start at the smaller number and count up to the bigger number, just like we did on the other paper. And so and then you're writing down the difference. We start at the nine, we count up to the 11, and how we record how many jumps we make. Okay, so there's a couple of number lines here. On the next page, you're doing the same thing. This time what they're doing is having you make a mental note of how many jumps you make, okay? So we have eight minus five, what's the difference? 
we're going to count up from the 5 to the 8, and we're going to make tally marks every time we count to see how many jumps we make. So we hold the 5, 6, 7, 8. How many jumps did we make? 3 jumps. Let's try again. We want 7 minus 5. What's the difference? We're going to count up. We'll hold the 5, 6, 7. How many jumps did I make? 2 jumps. Okay, 9 minus 6. Instead of counting back, I can count up to find the difference. Hold the 6, 7, 8, 9. I made 3 jumps. I'll show you this one more. 6 minus 4. Let's find the difference. I'm going to start at the 4 and count up. Hold the 4, 5, 6. 2 jumps. So on this page, we need to record with tally marks how many jumps we're making and record the answer of how many tally marks you used. Alrighty, this time you had a lot of pages to do. Same thing with this one. This time, we're, instead of tally marks, we're making dots, okay? So we hold the 13 and we say 14, 15. That was two jumps. Hold the 8, 9, 10, 11. That was three jumps. Hold the seven, eight, nine. That was two jumps to get to the nine. Hold the 12, the smaller number, and we're trying to get to the 14. Hold the 12, 13, 14. That was two jumps. The rest I'm gonna have you do. Don't worry about the stuff that's X'd, okay? And on the last page, here we are counting up to find the number again. There's only one number line, so make sure you're using your pencil. Start at the smaller number and jump to get to the bigger number and find the difference. If you're having trouble, maybe get yourself some things that you could make it with, and then you could find the difference that way too. If I have five minus two, I would hold the two and find the difference. Three, four, five. The difference is three. Okay. Happy counting up!